हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक इज हाउ टू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ प्लेट्स of okay so this is our today topic so to calculate the minimum number of plates you need to use the fenske equation but this fenske equation is useful when you want to calculate the minimum number of plates and minimum number of plates means infinite infinite reflex ratio which leads to minimum number of plate this like a, this is our column this is our feed this is our top product this is our bottom product so this you can say it's f this represent by d this represent by b this is top product this is bottom so here composition the fraction we represent x by xf here by xd and here by xb so the, what is the fenske equation actually so fenske equation we can apply on binary distillation as well as for multi uh, component uh, distillation so for binary binary component distillation means fractionation so we can write like fancy equation fenske equation this is like n minimum n denotes the number of plates in the column equal to ln xdi divided by xbi divided by x d j x b j in whole divided by ln alpha i j and last minus 1 so this we can write like this so this is our fenske equation so now you should know what is these terms actually to utilize this equation very well this xdi is for binary component i we can denote as a light component n uh j we can denote as a heavy component or this is the component which we want to recover and this is the component which we want to separate out so this we will get in bottom more more percentage in bottom 
and this more percentage in top so ij in binary system can represent for two component so what is xdi xdi is the fraction this is the frac i component fraction this i component fraction at the top plate you can see here at the top plate and this xb i is the i component fraction at the bottom plate here in this uh, j denotes the second component this xdj means j component li uh, liquid fraction at the top and xb is the xbj is here bottom so we call it top and bottom see x i uh, x i x t i x b i x t j and x b j when we call it top and bottom so here we are collecting the liquid product actually see it's coming here condensing and then we are taking out the liquid product so, and similarly it's happening here so like this and it's come going here some of the portion returning back and some portion we are collecting here this is bottom liquid product this is top liquid product so this component you means when we say top product uh, here and here because here you cannot find out so this we call it so this is the exact location of xdi and xbi so this is xdi and xdj we will get here and here we will get xbi and xbj okay so in this way we got it now this is the terms now the last term is how to do this one this is alpha i j mean this is you can see this is a square root of alpha i j at top into alpha i j at bottom okay so this value we can get it so you should know what is this alpha this is the relative velocity uh, so let me clean it first so to explain you more uh, i have to clean a little bit it then only i can so this alpha i j is the relative volatility relative volatility of component i and j so what is it actually we can we can say it this is x i over y i divided by x j over y j or we can say it k i divided by k j k is 
distribution equilibrium you can say you can say equilibrium distribution coefficient so this k mainly depends on column temperature as the column temperature is varying from feed top and bottom the column temperature is different and even the pressure is also different at this point pressure temperature is different at this point temperature pressure is different at this point temperature pressure is different actually in an, uh, if you see the in the entire column the temperature pressure is varying uh, from plate to plate that's why this is the, the this is a temp, uh, depends on temperature so the k factor is also varying from here to here so if the k factor is varying that means your relative volat uh, volatility is also varying so if this relative volat uh, volatility is varying that means to get the actual or more realistic number of plates you should use the mean value of this that's why in Fensky equation, this uh, the mean value of relative volatility is used to get the minimum number of plates. So this is how we use the Fensky equation. Uh, you will see many more lectures on column, operating temperature, and critical uh, criticality, and the role of critical pressures of the component, and how we apply Raoult's law for separation and uh, what should be the temperature range when the Raoult's law is applicable and the separation is possible in the column and what is the limitation of temperature and pressure in the column for separation so thank you very much for watching this YouTube video if you have any comments or you want something else or more clarification let me know I will explain you in detail for ne in next videos thank you very much